During a recent appearance on Fox News's primetime Fox Nation, uh, host Lara Logan uh, decided to compare Anthony Fauci to uh, a Nazi doctor, uh, Joseph Megdala to be exact. Uh, let's hear her argument. In that moment, what you see on Dr. Fauci, this is what people say to me, that he doesn't represent science to them. He represents Joseph Mengele, Dr. Joseph Mengele, the, doc, the Nazi doctor who did experiments on Jews during the Second World War and in the concentration camps. And I am talking about people all across the world are saying this because the response from COVID, what it has done to countries everywhere, what it has done to civil liberties, the suicide rates, the poverty, it has obliterated economies. The level of suffering that has been created because of this disease is now being seen in the cold light of day, i.e. the truth. And people see that there's no justification for what is being done. Okay, so uh, let me just give you some info uh, in case you're not familiar with Joseph Meng uh, Mengele, uh, because he uh, is nothing like Anthony Fauci, uh, dubbed by the inmates and survivors of the camp, the angel of death. He, uh, he with a slight flick of the finger would casually select those permitted to live and work and those destined to die in the gas chambers. Among those he selected to live were the subjects upon whom he conducted his infamous race inspired medical experiments. So she's com comparing him, a Nazi doctor, to Anthony Fauci, who's like, hey, can you guys, like, you know, maybe just get vaccinated, wear masks? Oh, we want, we don't, we don't want people to die. Let's let's prevent death. Um, but you know, Anthony Fauci has to be uh, the culture war symbol for the right wing. I don't really understand it, but it is what it is, Jenk. What do you yeah. think? So Lara Logan obviously has issues. Uh, there's, she's just lost her mind. Uh, I mean, he, Joseph Mengele is one of the worst people in the history of humanity. Um, he did these grotesque experiments on people. They were real people. They were people's aunts, sisters, f friends. And he, he, first of all, with the group that he selected for death, he led to their murder. And, and with others, he did these grotesque experiments, etc. Fauci's trying to save people's lives. But people who have lost their minds, and again, I referred to this Twitter thread that I just read uh, yesterday. It's by verified accounts, it's a real person. They lost their brother and their, and their father because they were convinced that the people who got vaccinated are shedding the vaccine and the vaccine's making them sick. Now. No actual doctor believes that. 99% of the world's doctors agree with Dr. Fauci. 99% of the world's scientists agree with Dr. Fauci. So if Dr. Fauci's Mengele, she's saying almost all of the doctors in the entire world are part of a global conspiracy. And, and then they're gonna cause you to get sick if you take the vaccine. And that's what's causing the problem. I mean, this is lunatic stuff. But the reality is that mainstream media is tolerated right wing lunacy for so long that it doesn't even seem that extraordinary anymore. They all disagreed with climate change, 99% of the world's scientists think climate change is real and man made. They're like, no, scientists all across the world are making up temperature readings. Cuckoo for cocoa puffs, because scientists in Russia and South Africa and America and Brazil are not making up temperature readings. They're not all lying about the science. You'd have to be a lunatic to think that. And that's what Lara Logan is. And then she comes, look, half of it is that it's outrageous to compare anyone to Mengele, let alone a guy trying to save your life. The other problem though is both thought leaders, oh God, if you could use that word, phrase in the context of the right wing. But their leaders in media and in politics and their followers have become part of a cult where facts don't matter at all. They have an entire alternate universe where there's like child killers and they drink the blood and then there's satanic and there's reptiles and they, oh my God, vaccines don't help people, they hurt people. But everybody dying in the hospitals is unvaccinated. Every doctor says it, every hospital says it. All the people that are hospitalized and dying, almost all of them are unvaccinated. How do you explain that? Oh, I have a conspiracy theory. And it's because oh, the, all the doctors are like the Nazis. Now doctors are Nazis. 
This is the insanity of right wing Fox News. Look, Larry Logan, I don't know what happened in how she lost her mind, but anyone who thinks she's a real news person is totally deluded. Yes, she worked at 60 Minutes. You know, they had to actually- I can't believe she worked at 60 no, Minutes. No, I know, but they had to actually suspend her because she th uh, submitted a junk report on Benghazi and they're like, none of this checks out. You haven't cited any real facts. That's shocking, it's shocking that she did yeah, that. Of yeah, of course, so because she worked in mainstream media and because right wing propaganda tells you everybody in mainstream media is liberal, they everybody assumed, oh, Lara Logan must be a real reporter, must be liberal. No, she's a right wing lunatic. Just that's it, we're done with it. And we're not the only ones who think that um, in response to her uh, insane claims about Anthony Fauci. The Auschwitz Memorial released a statement, I wanna read that to you. They write, exploiting the tragedy of people who became victims of criminal pseudo medical experiments in Auschwitz is a debate, in a debate about vaccines, pandemic and people who fight for saving human lives is shameful. It is disrespectful to victims and a sad symptom of moral and intellectual decline. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. More with that statement, um, it's incredibly insulting uh, to uh, the the victims of the Holocaust, uh, the victims of this Nazi doctor. To compare, uh, you know, Anthony Fauci to the Nazi doctor, it's. But this is what they do. I mean, every time I see a segment like that on a Fox News show, I always follow up in my mind. Well, I mean, what else are they going to talk about? Are they, are they gonna, like? Are they gonna talk about labor strikes? Are they gonna talk about uh, corporate greed? Are they gonna talk about corporate wealth? They're not gonna talk about any of that stuff. Of course, this is what they do. this is what they do, and I, I'm never shocked by it anymore. Look, what does it mean to be crazy? It means being detached from reality. Go go to Auschwitz Memorial's Twitter uh, account. What they do is they put up pictures of the people who were murdered during the Holocaust in Auschwitz. And you see what the Nazis actually did. Meanwhile, Fauci is saying, please, I'm begging you to get vaccinated so we can save your life. Because over 750,000 Americans have died because of coronavirus. We don't want you to be one of the casualties, we want to save your life. And Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs comes out and goes, oh, they're like the Nazis. Mm -hmm. they're, the Nazis are trying to save lives, you morons. And oh, no, 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 the vaccine no, it doesn't help people, it hurts people. Every doctor in the world is lying, but Lara Logan knows and Fox News knows. No, they're lying to you, they're cult leaders. Do not listen to them. They're brainwashing you and making you detached from reality. Actually listen to the actual doctors and scientists. You know someone is wrong when they say, don't listen to the doctors and scientists. That means they're against facts and that means they're trying to hurt you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.